So what we do is we put a football academy into the middle of the school. So if you want to access the football academy, then you have to get into the school and be deep into it. So we're going to get down nice and low, tackle hard, pick up the footy and finish with a goal. And then we provide men with them for them every day and we just do this rich wraparound activity. You know, have you seen it? Training before school, our fellas pick them up, breakfast, shower, go and do a bit of maths and English, uh, academy room, uh, and before they know it, all they can see is the academy, but all they're doing is school. It's quite a fly trap, really. It's been shown that education is the game changer, the one thing that gets students out of poverty, both Indigenous, non-Indigenous, or, or, or whatever circumstance might be, is education, because education is the thing that breaks the cycle. Come on, in. Jump in, mate. Jump in. Every day across Australia, the Klontar Foundation shapes the destiny of more than 7,000 Indigenous boys. Come on, Thomas. Come on, big one. Want the Broncos on last night, big one? To Charlie McHughes, better known as Uncle Charlie, the few steps to his bus just after dawn can be the most important journey a Bree boy can make. What you drinking Coke for, by This hour of the morning. Well, hey. Uncle Charlie missed the journey to school enough to know why these boys shouldn't. Their respect for him is enormous. Where are your shoes, lad? Whether it's rugby league before school in the east or Aussie rules in the west where Clontarf began, the results are consistent. I can honestly say that it has changed the boys' life. They look forward to going to school. Um, and just having a male, because we don't have a male figure in the house, just having a male figure in their life is really good because then whatever they're learning of the Clontarf Bob is going to create the next, you know? Next generation. Next generation, yeah. So all good values that this mob are instilling into this mob is going to come out mm. and then hopefully it just rolls over so we just continue doing this good thing that these good men are doing for our kids. So you got your bells ready, so I'd like to come and uh, collect them at the shop this afternoon. For you. Former Clontarf student Rohim Bin Hatim is the face and voice of a broom institution. Welcome to Pearl Buggers, guys. My name is Rohim, and I'll be a tool guide. So Clontarf was transformative, literally. It was, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the best examples of that thing because, uh, yeah, I was nothing like this. I was always a quiet, sit at the back of the class, shy guy, just go wherever the grip goes. There's not really much to say and stuff, but. Now I think I'm fairly assertive, it's pretty hard to shut me up on a good day. Yeah. Trips away to footy carnivals are Clontarf's working metaphor. Journeys that are both rewards and lessons. Building confidence, life skills and care for each other. Clontarf is there for the long haul, hopefully to make itself obsolete. It costs us $7,500 per boy per year and it cost us as uh, taxpayers probably 300000 to put any kid in a juvenile jail for yeah. the year, and these boys occupy way too much of it. And we think it's, it's a very cheap way, but a new way of doing business. I mean, it's an obvious thing, you know, keeping them all at school and getting them ready for work, and then not having to look after them after that. They pay taxes, they yeah. bring their kids up. Thanks, everybody, for coming for those carnivals. And, and not always about winning. Yeah, it's just all about having fun. Oh, yeah.